How you doing guys? Today at the machine shop here I'm going to rebuild six sets of connecting rods. Holly Davidson connecting rods. So uh, let me show you how I do it. See years ago I made all these different uh, punches and stuff and they're all heat treated. That means it's uh, case hardened steel and it'll last a long time. So first thing we do is take the bushings out. See that takes the bushings out. Get that bushing out. Then when you have the right stuff, everything goes really good. Okay, we got the bushings out. Now I made another uh, tool here to put the bushings in. And that would be uh, this one right here. See, so we take the bushing, put it on the pin, put it under the press, and uh, press it right in. Yeah, I don't use any of those uh, Chinese or Japanese connecting rods. I refill all the Holly Davidson connecting rods myself. This gauge here shows how much tonnage it takes to press the race in or the bushing. Okay, now we got the bushings in. Now we're going to take out the races. I made this uh, punch here. See, this is a Holly Davidson uh, valve spring. See, that goes in there. And uh, this has an indentation of the race that's going to come out. So we take this little uh, punch here, let's see, we put that in there. And watch the tonnage. Yeah, about two, two tons to push this out, 4,000 pounds. Yeah, they're really in the... Okay, now we got the female races out. Now we're going to take the male race out. Six thousand pounds to push that one out. Okay, now all the races are out. Now we take this off, and this is what I made to put the races back in. Okay, I'm going to put the male race in. This is the male race. See, it's got a chamfer going all the way around, so it'll uh, go in easier. So we put that there, this here over there, and uh, we take one of these, put that on top of that, this on top of that. Three tons to press it in, 6,000 pounds. So you know that's not coming out. Okay, now the female race got to go in, and what we do with that is see, we have an indentation here. See that? And uh, that'll stop the uh, race exactly where I want it when it goes all the way down. Okay, stand by. See? All the way in. Okay, now we take that out, flip this over, and we do the other side. Here we just got to rotate it.
Okay, right in. Okay, now all the racers are in. See, now this should fit there snug. See, like that, perfect. See, now all we have to do is uh, go over there to the honing machine and hone it out. But uh, let me show you something over here. What I do here is we, uh, really when I get the rods in, uh, we, uh, we make sure everything is straight. See, we take this uh, measurement device here, and uh, this will go right underneath. Do you like that? And it makes sure uh, it's straight. Okay, with this here, all we do is uh, take this, put it on here, and uh, make sure this here is flush underneath there with the feeler gauge. See that? Perfect. Okay, then we flip it over, take the feeler gauge, See, with a slight drag, perfect. Those rods are straight. Okay, let me show you a bent rod here. A lot of the rods are bent. Here, we don't have to measure that to see that that's bent. See that? Okay, and uh, what I could do is straighten them out. Uh, it's only mild steel, uh, these connecting rods. See, over the years I know how much pressure to put on there. And look at that. Huh? Pretty good, huh? One shot. Okay, now to make sure that's straight, uh, we have to uh, put it on here. We use the feeler gauges, see, on both sides. Flip it over. Look at that, huh? Straight as an arrow, one shot. I'm getting good at this. Okay, so now after the races are in, um, we go to the honing machine. Yeah, follow me. This here is a rod reconditioning machine. See that? And uh, I got the right mandrel in there already. So we put that on there, we push the button, and uh, what we do is we just hone it out, okay, back and forth, until we get the right measurement that I want. See? We check it right here with a dial indicator. See that? Now we gotta take out like another five thousandths of an inch. And every time we go back and forth here and I check it, we flip the rods over. This way there's no angle, you know, uh, when I'm honing it out. It's not tapered. Okay, we check it again right here. See that? And uh, it takes a couple of minutes really to get the five to six thousandths per inch out of here. But uh, you guys get the idea. Okay, four more thousandths to go. Okay, so let's say that's done. And uh, what we do is we switch the mandrel on the honing machine. I have uh, seven honing machines. Okay, so we're going to take that out. We're going to put the... Uh, Another mandrel in. Here we lock it in there, and we're going to hone out the uh, wrist pin bushing for the uh, wrist pin in the uh, piston. Okay, so we take that. This goes a lot faster because it's uh, it's brass. This comes out a lot faster. And then we have another dial indicator here. See, and that checks out. Look at that. We've got to take out like another six thousandths of an inch. And uh, we just keep going back and forth until we reach that measurement. Pretty simple. Just takes time. I always like to rebuild the original Holly Davidson connecting rod when I rebuild the motor. We don't use any Japanese or Chinese uh, connecting rods. Okay, and what I do use is 54 Turrington roller bearings. See, we use these roller bearings. These are the small ones and the big ones. All American made. They come from uh, Torrington in New Jersey. And either we use a uh, Jim's machining three hole crank pin, see, Jim's, or Eastern motorcycle parts in uh, South Carolina. 
all good parts. And then we go to the uh, flywheels and uh, we assemble the flywheels with my rebuilt connecting rods. Okay guys, just want to give you an idea what it's doing today. Got to rebuild six sets and uh, that's how connecting rods are rebuilt. Any questions, give me a call. 719-683-2200. You guys have a great day and thanks for watching.